My name is Jack and I am 16 years old. I'm an only child and you must think that I'm a spoiled boy. But no, my parents are quite strict and that forced me to do something that I will regret for the rest of my life. <sighs> we aren't a rich family, but we don't have any trouble. My father's a soldier and he has enough character. At home, I've always been educated with love, but with respect at the same time. They allowed me certain things, although they also demanded me to behave and get good grades. The only time I dared to raise my voice was to insist that they buy me my favorite game console, the PlayStation 4. I had been begging for years, but it seemed too much money for a toy, which could also distract me from my studies. I was desperate. All my friends had it and spent hours talking about the new games, and I just sat there quiet like a fool. I got tired of insisting and gave up on the topic. I started looking for other ways to earn money. I thought about a small job at the weekends. But being so young, and without my parents' permission, nobody was going to hire me. I had the idea to make a collection among my friends and then return the money to them later on, but few wanted to help me, and I barely make it for a controller. Such friends! One day, going back home, I saw a beggar sitting in a portal, and a flash pops up in my head. What if I dressed up with old and worn clothes and started asking for alms? Surely it would be worth enough to raise the money in a couple of days. I recognized that it was a petty idea, and I was very embarrassed, but I was desperate. Neither my parents nor anyone in my environment could find out, so I covered my face with an advertising cap on it and a broken scarf and went to park on the other side of the city. I didn't know what to do, I just sat on the floor and left a plastic bowl in front of me. The poster seemed too much for me. Uh... My strategy worked. Whoa. At first, they were mostly older people. Those didn't fail to fall for it. They were coming to throw in some coins, and some even gave me their blessing. Luckily, it was also a park where many people went to walk their dogs, and they gave me a few cents when passing by. They were my usual. I soon felt guilty. My idea was working, and in a couple of weeks, I could get what I needed. Then I met Louise, and everything changed. He was another beggar asking for alms around the area, and he came to talk to me. I didn't know what to tell him, and I made up a story, that I had escaped from a boarding school and slept in a pension. He told me about his sad life, a father who had been unemployed for years. I was so sad that I decided to give him a part of what I got every day, so I could go on without feeling so bad, because I was also doing a good deed. I was about to collect the money I needed, when one day a lady stared at me after giving me a coin. I usually keep my eyes down, and when I looked at her, she seemed to recognize me. It was our neighbor from next door. In case you had any doubts, my panic reaction and running out just confirmed it. What? It took me a couple of hours to return home. I was afraid to face my parents. My surprise upon arrival was that there was someone else there, a woman dressed in a suit with a briefcase. It turns out that my neighbor hadn't told my family, she went directly to social services. Now I not only had to explain everything to my parents, but also a child protection officer. The problem was huge. I never saw my parents so angry. They punished me for months, but that was the least of it. They also forced me to go see Luis, give him all the money I had, and tell him the truth. He thanked me for it and forgave me, but by his gaze, I knew he hid his contempt. Not only did I miss out on getting a game console, but I also deceived a good person and had the worst possible experience. My life sucks. Does your life suck as well and you want to share it with us? Send us your story to storiesmylifesucks at gmail.com. And don't forget to follow us on social media to find out if you are the protagonist of our next video.